Uh, hello, everybody. This is uh, Karthik from the marketing team at Reseller Club. Uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, today, we are going to have uh, Ravin Ori, the CEO of uh, the .desi registry, uh, join us for a webinar. Uh, so, you guys must already be knowing that .desi is the only uh, domain name which strikes an instant connect uh, with the Indian audience, both the diaspora as well as uh, people in India itself. And considering that India is going through a major boom phase right now, uh, this is the major opportunity for all of your customers to grab a domain name uh, and connect with the Indian roots. So uh, we have been running a good series of promotions with the .desi registry. Right now, we are. Uh, giving you a price of 300 Indian rupees or 4.99 in case you are uh, from outside India. That's one of the best prices that uh, the dot .desi registry is available at. So the broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Uh, you should uh, take use of this opportunity definitely. And uh, I'll let Ravin speak uh, in detail. So uh, over to Ravin. Karthik, thank you, and uh, thank you for everybody everybody else who has joined today. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, listen and learn a little bit more about that they see. I hope everybody can uh, hear me. Um, yeah, Robert, We're going to start off real quickly yeah. by... I'm sorry, Karthik? Yeah, uh, we're able to see our screen and you can get started. Okay, we're going to start off by just playing a short video. Since the dawn of the Internet era, domain names have been mostly generic, often limiting, and lacking global appeal. Not anymore. Today, a new era begins, offering new possibilities like never before. And there is one domain name that stands out like no other. Dot Desi. Dot Desi is a springboard for the new generation of global leaders and icons. Desi is a term that describes people and culture from the Indian subcontinent and global diaspora. It is an expression of unity. It evokes a sense of oneness amongst one of the largest online communities. Domain gets you and your brand notice like never before. It gives you a distinct identity on the .desi platform. The .desis are shining all over the world. They are at the helm of economic growth and cultural renaissance. Leading technology-driven economies. The Thesis are making their presence felt. The Thesis are actively buying online, looking for new products, travels and experiences. Enchanting the entire world. Raising the bar in sports and the world of entertainment. Today, all things Thesi are cool, hip and desirable around the globe. What if you could connect with this fastest growing online community in the world? Now you can. Dog Daisy makes a bold statement about you and your brand in a way that is unmatched in scale and opportunity. Get the power of Dog Daisy, the only domain name that unites the largest community in the world. Okay, I think that video is a pretty good introduction to talk a little bit about Dot Desi. So what is what is Dot Desi about? What is Desi? Uh, Desi is an emotional connection. It's not just an identity. Um, it's not. It's, it's an identity. It's not just an address. The, the definition of Desi, as you can see on the slide, um, 
It's a term used to describe the culture of people and products from the Indian subcontinent and the global diaspora. But again, it's really about an emotional connection. Dot Desi, what is it? If, all, if the hundreds of new domains, if the hundreds of new GTLDs that are out there, Dot Desi is the only one that caters to this community, caters specifically to the Indian subcontinent and the diaspora. Um, the, the reach of Desi is, is global. There are four, this is probably an understatement or a conservative number, but there are probably over 40 million Desis that live outside the Indian subcontinent, and there's 1.7 billion Desis within the world. It is a huge reach. It's a huge opportunity. A quick snapshot, um, a quick look at the diaspora market. Um, there are about 4 million people of Desi origin in the U.S., 1.5 million in Canada, um, 3 million in, in the U.K. Those are the three of the largest markets for, the, for, for Desi and the three of the largest markets for the diaspora. In U.K., as an example, uh, this segment of the population, it represents 5% of the total population in the UK, and it accounts for 40,000 businesses just within the London area. Um, they see is very common. It's a term, and, 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 and people from that origin are becoming more and more mainstream. In, um, you know, we use the, the analogy, it's going from Bollywood to Hollywood. In the US, as an example, in Many of the big shows, almost all the big shows, there's a Desi in it. Big Bang Theory, Mindy Kaling has her own show. There's a lot of music that's been collaborated with the Desi influence. Um, and if you go to the UK, you can't go to a pub or um, you can't go to a pub where they don't serve a curry of some kind. In some places within uh, Scotland, it's even the official food. Um, yoga, as an example, it's it's mainstream. In, in the US, again, there's a uh, very big event, Thursday night football, every Thursday night they have football, and the, and the lead into that has been Priyanka Chopra over the past year. Uh, year, I guess in 2013, Miss America was also an Indian person. So the Desis have a huge reach, and it's never been a better time. Okay. Within, within India, which is just a huge, huge opportunity, um, India is just on the tipping point of getting more and more online. E-commerce is exploding. It's just, you know, as you can see the statistics, it's the third largest community in the world. And the, the projected growth for the number of businesses that are going to have a need and a requirement to get online is just staggering. It's millions and millions of new domain names that are expected in India um, as more and more businesses are getting online they need a presence online. Companies, international companies and Indian companies have made huge in investments in India. Uh, Amazon has made a $2 billion investment. Um, they're, they're creating a big presence online and within India. Flipkart also has made huge investments, about a billion dollar investment. So what's happening with the Desis? Um, you know, I think as I mentioned in the video ca captures, uh, the Desis are, are vocal. They're making an impact. It's part of the global vernacular. Um, we're at a point where in, Indians are not comfortable asserting their own identity. They are everywhere. They have their business leaders, their um, fashion leaders, their sports entertainment leaders, and they are recognized everywhere. There's no other domain that can trigger such immediate reaction like that they see. So how does that they see appeal to your customers? Um, for one, it, 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 it will trigger immediate recognition. Um, it stands out. People from, the, from this segment of the community, people uh, know what they see is. They understand what it means, and it will be immediately recognized. And it's, it's different. It's cool and hip. Um, you know, unlike some other GTLDs, um, it's, it's targeted for the hip and the cool market. Uh, it's not just a generic, it's not just a cultural uh, GTLD, so it does have global appeal it, and it will be immediately recognized by your customers. India is ready for .dot .dc. Um, you know, there's a huge opportunity, the e-commerce market is growing like crazy, but more so than just that, it's a good time, it's a good time for, for .dot .dc. 
there's the sense of pride and the sense of global acceptance uh, for Desis, for Indians, uh, for people from the Indian subcontinent has, subcontinent has probably never been better. I remember when we were doing research to, un, to understand the target market and we were doing research on the term .desi, we came across a marketing study. Um, it's about a year old now, maybe a little bit over a year old, but it was from 2013. And this marketing study was targeted at the, in, the Indian youth, which was ages 18 through 35. And the number one trend in that market, marketing study was called uh, Proud Daisy. So it's never been a better time uh, for, for a term and, and for, uh, for the new GTLD program, for the use of that Daisy with the, with the crazy growth that's expected in India and the increasing uh, importance, increasing um, acceptance and pride in being Indian. Who should have a domain name? It can be anybody that has an affinity for that, for the Desi values, for the Desi culture, or for the Desi lifestyle. It can be individuals, it can be businesses, uh, youth groups who want to um, celebrate celebrate what they are and what they what they believe in. And it's businesses that provide goods and services to the Desi com community. Um, again, it's a it's an alternative for showcasing your Indian roots. How could you use that they see? It could be used to describe your passion, whether it's something like rock, something like Diwali. That they see can be used to express your uh, your interest. That they see can be used um, as a platform to get online to um, for your businesses. and it can be used to express your interests. Um, we launched um, the registry, went live about two months ago, and since then we've, had, we've already had some businesses and individuals that have active websites using .dac for their primary source of uh, e-commerce, for primary source of communication out on the Internet. This just gives you a little sample of some of the active sites. Um, some of them are uh, entertainers like Just Rain. Some of them are uh, shops that that sell to the diaspora. And and every day, more and more sites are coming up as the registrations are increasing. Why should you market that they see? Um, for one, we, we we've made it we've made it easy. There are no restrictions. Um, it's an open GTLD. We are doing a lot of marketing and support, which, we'll, which I'll get into in just a moment. Um, as Karthik mentioned, we are trying aggressively, and we are aggressive in our pricing and promotions, which um, the Resale Club team has mentioned to you earlier. There's still a great name of inventory. Uh, there's a great inventory of names available, as we just launched about two months ago, so there are a lot of names available. And we're in general availability now. Again, we've made it easy. There, there are very few names that were reserved as premium names. And uh, there are also very few names that were on the collision list to start with. So there's a great inventory. We are aggressive in our marketing, and we are aggressive in, in our pricing and promotions. Um, so what are we doing as a registry to, to create more awareness to let people know that the AC is available as an alternative? Um, we, we've done a lot of things, whether it's within the industry and placing ads on online publications. Uh, we've done a lot of collateral development, like, like the video that we just showed you as an example. We are active on social media. Uh, we've done some sponsorships of some events. Um, we've, uh, we've also engaged in some global influencers, which I'll get into in just a second. So uh, there are a few, um, th there are a couple of global influencers that we're working with right now. One of them is Miss Malini. It's probably the largest Indian blogger on the uh, Bollywood and fashion and lifestyle with millions of followers. Um, I think about 60% of the followers are in India, another 40% are outside of the Indian, US, UK, and Canada. And we have a long-term um, long -term agreement where they're helping promote that they see create, creating awareness through social media, blogs, contests, and, uh, and takeovers, things of that nature. We also work with a YouTube comic sensation, Just Rain, and um, he also has millions of followers, more outside 
of India, but, but also falling within India. And uh, he's also has helped promote and help create awareness for about Daisy. And we are still working with and we plan to find a Bollywood celebrity through some partnerships that we have and relationships we have who will also help support and help create some more awareness for about Daisy. I think the key message here is we are doing a lot of marketing activities. Um, we are working with local, local being Indian marketing companies to make sure our messaging is clear. And we are going to continue to create the brand, create awareness, create, um, create some more interest for Dot Daisy above and beyond our the, tip, the traditional registrar channel. Um, just a few quick updates. Um, the name there, there were list, uh, there were names on the name collision list, although not so many. But we've got through the period now. All those names are available for registration. We have completed our claims period, so again, that's helpful. And very soon, we will be able to offer two character domains. That's in, in, in process right now. And I think I mentioned earlier, we do have a few names, uh, some limited number of premium names that have been set aside, but it's not a significant number. So just in, uh, in, in conclusion, what are the key reasons to, to, uh, to sell and to market that they see? Um, Clearly, there's a huge opportunity in India with the e with the e-commerce, which is about to explode. It's uh, it's a new GTLD, which is really targeted towards India and towards the diaspora. And we are we are doing a lot of awareness. We're starting more marketing campaigns um, that are going to help brand this outside of the traditional registrar channels. So, and that is the uh, the end of the the presentation that we have. Thanks, Ravin. That was uh, very informative. In fact, uh, a lot of us are eager to know who this uh, Bollywood celebrity turns out to be. I think that's going to help us with a lot of ammunition in terms of marketing uh, the TLD space itself to the Indian public and probably even abroad, especially to the diaspora. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I would say I was just going to add. Yes, I would completely agree. We think that'll be a great, uh, great way to help spread the message. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I think the price point is really, really aggressive. And uh, among new GTLDs, this is uh, probably one of the best priced. And in fact, bang in the sweet spot where you don't get uh, spammers. And given that it's a highly targeted uh, TLD, also, I think we should not have that problem. So uh, we strongly uh, believe in Dot Desi, and uh, we expect that U.S. resellers will take it up in, on, uh, at a much larger scale. So uh, we will be ready to uh, give you any marketing collateral that you need, and I'm sure the registry also will be willing to do the same. So if you guys have any questions or specific requests or ideas, please do mail them to us at clientrelations at resellerclub.com. We will uh, liaise with the registry and get you any information that you might need. And uh, you can stay tuned to our emails and social media updates for uh, the identity of uh, this Bollywood celebrity or any other marketing campaigns that the registry does come out with. Uh, we look forward to a lot of growth over the coming uh, few months. And we're sure uh, you already must have received emails that this promotion is uh, going on into the month of January 2015. And chances are very high that it will continue uh, beyond that too. So, yeah, uh, let's hope for a great 2015 and let's make it the year of God Desi. Thanks, Robin. Thanks a lot for joining us and uh, giving this valuable information for our resellers. Thank you, Karthik. All right, then. Uh, take care. Bye-bye, guys.